a special beer for Father's Day in honour of my father, which is aged in the barrels of his favourite whisky. It's a beer clock and a special beer in honour of my father on Father's Day. We have a bottle of La Trap Quadruple Oak Aged coming in at 11% ABV, but this one here has been aged in my father's favourite whiskey barrel, which is Lafroig. But this is batch 43 of their range, okay, because they, they bring out these batches of the different oak age quadruples. Now, batch 43 is quite ironic, actually, because 43 was the year my mother was born. And it's also um, aged in my dad's favorite whiskey barrel, which is Laphroaig. So it's a bit ironic, really, this bottle, um, in a little way. Now, it's not only um, aged in Laphroaig. This is actually aged over two years in four different types of oak barrel right two of the types of whiskey ones right so you've got Lafroig, and then it gets moved into a um a, a space side one and then it it gets moved into two brand new oak barrels now the reason they use the space side is space side whiskies are very famously they use sherry casks to, to produce the whiskies in. So it's gonna be, I would say, a real sort of oaky, smoky, peaty flavor to this beer from the Lafroig. And then you're gonna probably have a bit of a sort of a sherry note to it. Um, I don't know. But I really expected this high sort of peated, um, this note, you know, Lef um, Golden Drack did one with Lafroig and it really really was peaty really really nice so I'm sort of in my mind thinking this is going to be similar um, but for two years you know this has been brewing um, sitting in barrels so I'm looking forward to it so without further ado let's, let's crack it open and let's give it a try what I like about these, their the, the, the special edition oak okay, so they come in these, these, these presentation boxes, which look quite nice. I did actually cut the seal before um, before the review, because I didn't think you want to see me with a knife cutting seals. This is uh, about 10 degrees I'm opening this up at, for those of you who want to know the temperature. Cool. That's tight. There goes pop. Look at the smoke coming out of that. And let's get it in the little trap glass, which is again is a is an art form. Now for those of you out there. La Trap was was the first the first brewery to ever bring out the um, the quadruple. This is obviously you know people think it was from Belgium. No, it's from La Trap in the Netherlands. Right, it's dark mahogany. I can see through it. It's a little bit of ruby red. Um, it's got one one finger tight white foam head let's get the aromas dried fruits figs there's some peatiness there like I thought there would be Oh, it does smell lovely. The head is sort of trying to disappear quite quick. But you usually find that with these beers. Um, I'm 
getting? And I've never smelt this in a beer before. I'm getting walnuts. Now, whether that's not coming from like one of these brand new oak barrels, it has distinct walnuts. Like freshly cracked walnuts. So we've got to dive in and give it a try. So cheers to all them fathers out there. It has that distinct Lafroy taste to it. It's peaty. It's powerful. There's a definite nuttiness to this beer. This walnut taste, it's quite a dry beer as well. I think it's the Lafroy whiskey barrels really made this, this 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 batch of the oak age the quadruple a lot drier it's like drinking a dark beer while eating fresh walnuts to be honest really really has a walnutty twang to this beer I really really get Lafroig as well now Lafroig is a whiskey which I like but I have to be in the right mood for it because it's a sort of dark, smoky, peaty sort of whiskey, I find you've got to be in a sort of, that sort of mood to have a Lafroig. You know, a Lafroig whiskey is not one of those, or Lafroig, however you want to say it, Lafroig, Lafroig, whatever. Um, it's one of those whiskies you don't really sort of appreciate if you're if you're really happy and jolly you know um to me if i'm happy and jolly i want a, a darwini or something like that you know and an old pulteney you know that that, that 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 sort of whiskey if i'm if i'm happy and, and jolly but when you sort of go down to sort of dark you want like a like a lafroy a jura an odd big something of that sort of ilk so I'm really jolly. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I should really be in a bad mood, really, you know. But no, this this is good. Is it their best batch? I don't know because there's so many I haven't had and so many that I have had. Um, they're they're all good. I've missed a load of batches out because just be able to get over there and you know I think it's every three months they do them like four batches a year and, and trying to get hold of them is, is quite quite hard you know to be honest and to try and get hold of them in the UK yes you could get hold of them but the extortionate prices you know in the UK they want like some people want over 30 quid for a bottle of this 
I'm not paying it. I'm not paying it. It's draw a line somewhere. Um, if I can't get it from Belgium for for about 16 euros a bottle, then you know I'm not I'm not I'm not forking out silly money. It's a lovely beer though. I think my father would have liked it. Yeah, it's got that distinct Lafroig or Lafroig taste to it. It marries up well. You know, this is the first quadruple ever. You know, the, the trap invented the quadruple. Sits nicely. Look, what more can I say about this beer other than get a hold of one, try it, see what you think, leave me a comment below. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review, hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches fireworks and always drink responsibly. <laughs>